Well I've now connected the computer to the Garmin unit with the cable that was supplied. I didn't turn the Garmin unit on but as soon as I plugged it into the computer it automatically switched on and detected the USB. If we just explore everything that's hooked up to the computer we can see that the Garmin handset itself here is one item and the OS maps on a separate SD card looks like it's a separate item so let's just go and have a look at the OS maps and there is a huge image file there and just as a precaution I'm going to save the map folder onto my computer as a backup. If we now run Basecamp now that the handset is connected up to the computer uh, we can see both the internal memory and the memory card. What we see on the screen at the moment are the very basic maps that are supplied with the Garmin unit. I'm hoping that now if we click on this Okay, now I notice on here it says one of the restrictions for using this system is there's no map printing. That isn't really a problem because if you go back to the beginning of this video where I tell you about footpathmaps.com that's a full OS map of the UK and you can zoom into any part of that and print that up. The first problem is how do we get the path that we're going to walk into the handset? Well obviously we've got Basecamp up on the screen here. Do we set up a route? Do we set up a track? Do we set up waypoints? I'm a novice. There's videos, um, but there isn't very much help from Garmin about the basic overview of how you go about doing this. I know that a waypoint is a specific grid reference point. Uh, and that any route or track is made up of a series of waypoints. But I surely don't have to go in and define all the waypoints and then go and set up a route or a track. I've done a little bit of research and it appears that routes are where you would like to go and you load those up into your handset. Tracks are where you've been and your handset automatically records where you are going and you can look at your track when you come back. So it would appear you have to set up routes. Using the routing tool up here seems to be a bit of a nightmare and I haven't worked out how to do that. What I have found is the simplest way to set up a route is to actually set up a new track now at the top of the screen you'll see that there are track tool and a route tool neither of which are currently available until we decide where we want the data to go. Um, let's put it into user data on the memory card and now we have the opportunity to using either of these tools. Um, as I've already said the route tool is appears not to be the tool to use. The way that I've gone is to set up a new track. And I've now got a pencil tool, which you see when I move it on the map, it becomes a pencil tool, which enables me to draw a route very easily from my start point, which is on the road here, back to my start point. And here it is in my user data now. If I right click on track I can name that, I can rename it to let's call it Woodwalk. If I right click on it again I shall get the opportunity to now create a route from a selected track. So having drawn the track nice and easily I can now create a route from it. We we'll just leave that choose the number of points automatically. OK. 
and now it's chosen and made a root of it for us. Right, having drawn the root, what we've now got to do is send it to the handset. So up the top here we've got send user data to device. Click, we can select the device. I think we'll send it to the actual handset itself. Just watch what's going on here and it looks as though it's finished. So let's go and have a look at the handset to see whether or not the map has gone into the handset. Well here's our GPS still hooked up to the uh, USB connector so we'll disconnect the USB and now we have to turn it on. We we'll press the menu button twice We'll go to the root planner. And we've got something here called Woodwalk. And we don't want to edit the route, so we want to look at the map. So hopefully you can just see in purple there the route is now in the handset and it says go at the bottom well I presume we're going to go when we start the track off later on I shall take my camera and we will see how successful this is at guiding us around that track there we go it's completely readable in bright sunlight it doesn't show on this picture because you've got a reflective screen but if you turn it slightly to the light it's very clear to read without any backlight or anything it's very successful so far, it's very intuitive. Well I must say that using the Garmin 62S has been a real pleasure. Um, what we need to do now is go back to the office and see what information and data we've collected. Okay, so now we're back from our journey, um, very successful. Uh, we can now take a look at the data that's been collected during the journey. So when I load up Basecamp, you'll see that it's completely blank and empty. I shall now plug in the handset and after about 30 seconds, everything automatically uploads into the computer. At this point you can see we've got an empty screen and an empty map. I think the first thing we've got to do is tell it we want to use the Discoverer Maps. And we've got to go to our internal storage where we should find our Oliver's Farm walk. And we can see the pink route there which is the route that we defined and the blue route, which seems to take us right across country, I must have left the GPS turned on because it's recorded our uh, car journey. If you look carefully, you'll see that round the edge of the pink, the blue track is where we actually travelled. In one or two places it deviates slightly from the pink track. Very small amounts. Now I've only done one route today. So that must be this current track here. So if I click on, double click on the uh, current track, I get a report for my journey this afternoon. There are quite a few things in here that I don't fully understand. Um, and I've got to do quite a lot of fiddling and reading the books to, uh, to try and get this sorted out. For example, speed here, 17,435 miles an hour. Well, I don't think even if I was in a hurry to get to the toilet, I could move that quick. Distance 14 miles, that's probably the distance from my home round the track and back again. Average speed 1.4 miles an hour, that sounds about right. You may notice a few differences from the default settings when you look at this table. For example, here I've got position defined as the British Ordnance Survey mapping position. Um, speed is miles per hour as opposed to kilometres per hour 
and some of the other stuff has gone from uh, metric to imperial. And finally, my apologies. At one stage, I renamed the file Woodwalk to Oliver's Farm. The two tracks and routes are fully interchangeable. Um, please accept my apologies for the confusion that may have resulted. Thanks for coming along, and I do hope that if you're an absolute novice like myself, some of the things that I've discovered will take the fear out of you jumping and becoming very happy with a Garmin 62S.